Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how to install the Exodus add-on to Kodi. So Kodi is already running. So we come up here to the cogwheel. Then we click the file manager. Then we click add source. Okay, and then we click on the none button. And then we type in HTTP. You have to put this in each time you add a source. Then we put in our source name. So for the Exodus, we're going to go with Mega Tron. dot tv slash transform and we click OK and it automatically came up with a name so we'll just leave it like that or you can make it whatever you want so we hit OK so we have the source added. To check to see if you had everything spelled right, just click on that or double click it. And you, if you see information down in here like all of this, it means we have the source name spelled correctly. So now we just back up out of that. Now we click the add-ons box. We click that. We're going to install from the zip file. We click that. Then we click on the transform. That's the name we gave the source file. Then we select repulse. Then we select the repository Cody Bay zip. This 1.0 might be a different number, but we click that. And if we wait a little bit, we'll see something pop up on the screen indicated that the add-on was updated. Next, we move up to install from repository. And we look for the Cody Bay repository, which is right here. We click that. Then we select video add-ons and then we select Exodus. Now in my case Exodus is already installed. If it had not been installed where you see this trash can it would say install and you would simply install it. So let's back out of here and we back out of here and we back out of here now we go to the add-ons page and as you can see here is the Exodus add-on you can go here and we'll just yep yeah, just get by that click it or hit the return button and then uh, so now you can select movies or TV shows. And uh, let's do the Ruby Jewel. I know that's the one a certain friend of mine is interested in. So uh, we go to the Cogwheel, File Manager, Add a Source. Okay, and we click on the none. Oh, something happened there. None. Okay. Once again, HTTP colon slash slash repo dot ruby 
זה. give it a name. Now one tr uh, trick I use sometimes, I will put a period before the name. So we're just going to call it dot with. And you'll see why you might want to do that. Put a period before the name. Now we click OK. And as you see, the dot with is at the very the top of the list. So whatever you put uh, with a dot in front of it, it'll show near the top. So we click with. And we have information. So that means we are at the right place. OK, now we hit Escape. Well, we just back up. I'm on the computer, so you just hit Escape. Then we go to the add-ons. Let's go to add-ons here. And let's click the box. OK. Now we want to install from the zip file. And there's Wiz at the top of the list. We click the Wiz file. Oh, right. We select this one, the diamond repo. Then we connect with this. And then we'll see something pop up over here on the screen to let you know. Yep, there it is. Now we install from repository and we want to get the diamond bill repository and we go down to video add-ons click the video add-ons again and we want to get this one, the 7 of 9 then we install it. Okay, then we just pick OK here. And it says it's downloading. And it's done. Okay, so we back out of here. So here it is. Double click on that one. Okay. Now we come down and we look for the adults only page right here. And the password for this is sex lover. L O V E R. And we hit OK. Press enter. Press to enter adult menu. Right. So we click that. And we're in. So uh, I like to use this one here, e corner. Click on that one. Don't want to see that up there. Okay. And uh, I will select this one. And so now you have all the choices of different movies you can watch. Oh, this is where I want it to be. So now, if I right click on this, I can put Add to Favorites. And then we come down here to Categories. Do 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 do
Okay, here's Ebony. So we right click on that, add to favorites. So you can just add to favorites whatever you like. Okay. Uh, right, so well, that really is pretty much it. Nothing else to do. So you can just find other add ons and just add them in the same way. Easy peasy. Okay, let's, let's stop the video.